you know, so Tom Devil, there's a sample that we used um, from the Alan Lomax Foundation. I contacted them and they were cool with it. And um, it's Ed Lewis and the Prisoners and it's them working in prison chopping wood and we were just trying to do the best that we could to, uh, pay, to be respectful of where this music comes from. And um, hopefully to remind people of this music, uh, where this music comes from. And uh, we built a song around, around the sample. Um, and it was, it was a very powerful experience, very powerful experience. Um, kind of freaked me out. So yeah, Out of My Mind is really just a fun song. <laughs> There's not, not a whole lot to say about it. I think really it was like, it's an obvious tip of the hat to, uh, you know, obviously Mr. Jimi Hendrix. Sail and Shoes is an interesting song. It was an interesting cover to do. It's a, it's a Little Feet song, Lil' George uh, song, and um, kind, of a, kind of a classic. So, you know, and these are, these are serious cats on those original recordings, and so Dave and I talked about it, and we kind of made this, this sort of our, our own version in a way, you know, listen to a Robert Palmer singing it, listen to the Little Feet version, and just all around love the song. So we just decided, well, let's do it, and let's have fun with it. I'm Going Home is, is a cool song. It's kind of a not very well-known song, and just the arrangement of the song is so cool. As soon as I heard it, it was like, wow, this reminds me of, of uh, this reminds me of Are You Experienced? It reminds me of that kind of song, just of that. Like that line, just it's so cool, it's really driving, and as soon as I heard it, I was like, man, I love this song. So we took that approach to it, just kind of a wild three-piece. Uh, approach to the song. It's by the Sonics, uh, and they wrote that song and released it in the 60s. And it's, uh, it's a badass tune, so we figured let's have fun with it. Fade Into You is, uh, is a song that was very difficult to write and perform, a uh, very personal experience. Uh, it's really a song about um, the last couple of years in my life, and um, you know, the music business is. Uh, filled with unscrupulous characters and um, it's a song about that um, and just sort of what I've been through the last couple of years and um, trusting people and and uh, getting fucked over. So this is a song that Dave and I wrote together and uh, it was uh, very healing to write that song. So this is a song by Don Covey and um, you know we didn't want to pick just sort of like your you know, your obvious cover song has been done 500 times. And uh, Dave and I, you know, talked about it and, and uh, you know, he's like, well, what about check out this jam? This guy, Don Covey, and I wasn't familiar with Don. And, and so we checked out a couple of his tracks and this one just felt, just felt really cool. <laughs> Green Power is originally recorded by Little Richard. And Little Richard, as far as I'm concerned, is the greatest rock and roll singer of all time. Uh, there's no one else comes close. There's, there's other great singers, but you know, Little Richard is the man to make your hair stand up. The funny thing was we ran in, or I ran into Little Richard. He uh, lives at the hotel that I was staying at in Nashville while I was recording. And so uh, the guys working at the hotel had told me, yeah, Little Richard's around here. And I was like, oh, wow. So one day I, I came in the lobby and there he was. He was like, pointed at me, I put, hey, he goes, hey, hey. You know, it was, it was amazing. So it just seemed only fitting to put a, you know, uh, a song for Little Richard of his out of respect and out of gratitude for his incredible contributions to uh, uh, shaping modern music. The guy, he's the man. When your love has moved away. You know, Better Days is a really beautiful song written by Graham Nash. And, um, you know, I'm really a big fan of CSNY. I'm a fan of, you know, a lot of different music from that era, but. <coughs> That song was just something that was really pretty. Something about the changes really, uh, you know, they, they really, they really, they just really moved me. And something about the lyric in that really moved me as well. And so Dave and I talked about the song and, and um, we tried it and it, it, seemed, it seemed like uh, we tried it on, it fit well and the lyric really told a story. So easy on the eyes, that's, that's just kind of like, you know, sort of, uh, a fun song um, that we wanted to uh, we want to just kind of light up. We're like, yeah, man, this is cool. Dave and I put together a song, and 
kind of a rocker and it's real it's real straight ahead and really it is what it's about you know it's about someone who's real easy on the eyes and then kind of what goes on for you it may not even be a person it may be a thing you know a lot of people want that car you know and the that's what the song is all about i want it i want it you want you know it's like it you can you obsess about it maybe you want a guitar maybe you want a car maybe you want that lady or whatever it is so i think that was just the idea of that song just to have fun Triumph was really uh, a song, really extremely emotional. Um, again, it was written out of a, a, a very dark place. Um, follow, well, it was written following a very dark, following a very dark time. Um, uh, you know, I think it's it's kind of hard to put it into words because there are no words in the song. It's instrumental, and so um, it's just the idea of coming through one of the most difficult times I've had in my career. And um, and coming through the other side and and um, feeling triumphant. Yeah, light them up. That was a fun one to write. That was a song about again. I think about maybe feeling a little bit more empowered, coming through a really really harsh time, dealing with the music business and. Uh, you know, trying to trying to hold it hold it together, and this is a little bit more of it, more of the empowered, angry side, um, letting things go. Um, uh, you know, light the fools up is basically what it's about. There's a lot of fools and people that um, in business, in all business, whether you work at a bank or whatever. You know, we all deal with them. We all deal with funny people sometimes. So, light them up. Just light them up. Let it go. You got to keep rolling, and that's what the song is about. There'll be peace in the valley for me. That's the that's the lyric, and it was recorded at a very very painful time. Um, again, where I was, uh, you know, trying to get trying to get through some uh, some really difficult um, some difficult things in the business, you know. And and sometimes uh, getting back to the roots like this are, are what um, are what it's all about. And that's what that song is. Very honest recording. Oh. 